Got a 1968 Pontiac Firebird with a built 400 Pontiac engine. It's been converted to a hydraulic roller cam. Has uh, a lot of really good parts on it. Nice car, good running. Came to me with a, a, a complaint of overheating and just didn't seem to have as much power as it should. So during the tune on the dyno, one of the first things I always do is verify ignition timing and valve lash and air fuel ratio. So starting off with valve lash, I adjusted all the valves, made sure everything was right. And when I started to um, set the ignition timing, what I found was that setting the in, uh, idle ignition timing at 20 degrees, when I would bring the vehicle off of idle and start revving it up, the timing would advance slightly and then the timing would retard. It would continuously retard up to 20 degrees when I would bring it up off of idle. If you revved it out relatively high, it would uh, advance out to 35, 40 degrees, just depend. It, it, it changed a lot. It eventually would come back to 20 degrees, 18 to 20 degrees at idle. After testing everything electrically I knew to test and even using another distributor, a known good distributor, it did the same thing repeatedly. Got permission from the customer to go ahead and tear it down and inspect what I thought was the problem. I just couldn't prove it from the outside. So I want you guys to take a look at what I found. This is a Butler Performance hydraulic roller conversion. Looks like a really nice part. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but installation wasn't all that great, so watch. The camshaft moves back and forth, I would say at least a quarter of an inch. So I had permission from the customer to take the engine out, inspect it mechanically, um, fix a couple little things, dipstick tube, it's got a little oil leak, a little coolant leak, and um, fortunately, I lucked out and found that before we lost an engine. This would have destroyed everything in the engine had it broke. It would have gotten all of, or most of the valves. It would have gotten uh, the camshaft probably, even broke lifters. It would have done a lot of damage. So we got lucky and I'm hoping to have it back together shortly and I will have dyno numbers.